Hey, what's up? I haven't done one of these direct to webcam videos in a while, and I was thinking, huh, why haven't I done that? And then I came to realize, I guess it's because I haven't really had any specific stuff to talk about. But then today I was like, you know what? I should just do it anyway, because this is exactly the high quality content that you expect on this channel. And I'm sure you have therefore been missing it greatly. So here we are. Summer's about to start. That's pretty exciting. Hopefully you're winding down school if you're not already out. I assume some people at university, you get out a little bit earlier than like elementary, high schools, things like that. So hopefully for those of you in like elementary and high school, you'll be getting out soon and stuff. And you know, in general, I'm just feeling pretty good about things as a whole. I feel like there is definitely a bit of a, a resurgence in the Minecraft space. And maybe some of that has to do with the fact that it is the 10 year anniversary. So that's built some hype, brought some people back into the game. But it seems like it's more than that. But the weird thing is usually I can put my finger on exactly what's happening. In this case though, I can't really do it. Now, in the Reddit video this week, I like showed that, yeah, there's a little bit of an uptick in the search for Minecraft. On Google search, it seems to have gone back up and overtaken Fortnite. Now it's not where its peak was at back in 2013, but as I said in that Reddit video, I think a reason for that may be like people are familiar with the game at this point. There aren't that many new people being onboarded. And so those people don't have to like search for Minecraft in order to figure out what they want to get out of it. They kind of know the destinations already and a general search for Minecraft isn't what those people are going to do. So that could be a symptom why even if there is a big resurgence, it might not necessarily reflect in just the amount of people searching Minecraft. In any case, though, I don't know, it seems like more people are, are watching videos. That could also be because summer is happening and more people just have more time to watch videos. But I don't know, it seems like the general interest engagement is kind of on the rise, maybe. But it's so weird because I just can't pinpoint what the cause is. And usually I kind of can, like with Fortnite. You know, that explosion is pretty obvious because it's just it went super viral after the game launched. They rolled out new features. People are making videos, people playing because of those videos. Lots of people getting on board makes sense. But it's like I can't pinpoint the exact resurgence of Minecraft. And now that it bothers me, I'm glad I'm happy that it seems to be happening. But it's like because I can't identify exactly what's going on, it's hard for me to like fully believe that it's not just some kind of anomaly. But Anyway, it's it's where we're at, I guess. Makes me happy that, uh, yeah, we've um, we've got, I don't know, we've got some extra life back here. And maybe that resurgence will be able to hold up and even bring some more engagement when like Hightail comes out down the road and more people will be interested in checking that out. And maybe like Hightail and Minecraft, they can almost like build each other up rather than it being siphoning users off one and into the other. Right. It could kind of be like they both grow together or Minecraft gets more people back into it while Hytale grows and gets more people interested and people are going back and forth. I don't know. Either way, I have no idea when Hytale is happening. We're getting so close to summer and they haven't said anything about, oh, we're planning on maybe getting a beta out this summer, which makes me a little bit worried. Like I was hoping and praying that this summer they were going to have some playable version of Hytale because that'd be the time to hit it. Right. You want it when people are out of school. Like that's that's when it's time to release a game. And uh, especially one that's built so much off of like community hype and stuff and more people are watching and more people are like, they've got their eyes on the computer screen as to what's going on. So during the summer, that'd be the time to do it. But I don't know. I don't have any insider information, okay? I'm totally out of the loop on that stuff. They've got big fancy investors. And so if they were like still completely independent, maybe they'd be more willing to share things, but I'm sure because of their funding, it's like, oh, you gotta keep things pretty hush hush until you know exactly when a date is set that you're gonna have something for people to play. So it's probably a bit more like, you know, secretive as a result. So I have no idea, dude. But I want it to be a thing, but I don't know when it's going to be a thing, but hopefully it'll be soon. But also I know they want it to be polished and good by the time it's out so that they don't like crush their momentum. But also you've got to balance the fact that they've had so much momentum from people being interested in it that if it goes on too long that there's nothing playable, then that momentum goes down anyway. And can they get that back up once they finally do have something playable? If it's way down the road, I don't know. I'm sure they're balancing all that as they go through the development, trying to figure out what's best. But 
Anyway, I've gone on too long. Hey, speaking of other games aside from Minecraft, allow me to do some shameless self-promotion and say, in case you missed my mentioning it in other videos here, I did try out some Roblox. And I mention it because it's something that a lot of people have asked for in comments of videos here on this channel for many years, and I had never taken the plunge. But recently, over on the Jordan Games channel, where previously I was doing Fortnite stuff, I decided to try some Roblox. Because, of course, the name of that channel is Jordan Games and not Jortnite, as I mentioned in the Roblox video over there. So, if you feel like checking it out, if Roblox is up your alley, you can go over to Jordan Games and then you can kind of get your fill of a few Roblox videos that have gone up, see if you like it, dip your toes in, maybe you will. They've actually been really well received so far, and people seem to be more interested in them than Fortnite. So, Roblox maybe is the future of that channel. Who knows? We'll see. And then also, when it comes to Minecraft, I always just like to mention there is so much content, so many hours of it going up on Captain Sparkles 2. And there's this new SMP live series that I just started. It's live streamed and then the VOD goes up over on Captain Sparkles 2. But a lot of people seem to like it. It's got a pretty, pretty die hard following, it seems like, of people who have been watching the people who are already on the server and uh, seem to be like super into it. And so maybe you'll enjoy it too. Kind of joining that group of people who like the series. I don't know. It's it's different. It's um they have this hit system where you are tasked with hits on other players on the server, and you are forced to follow through on it. And in my case, just starting out, I don't have the gear. I haven't gotten a hit yet because I set the price real high because um, I wanted to just focus on building my house. Eventually, they'll reduce the price, and then. I will still probably not have as good a gear as anyone else and be like, all right, I'm forced to go try to find them and demonetize them and probably unsuccessfully and I'll probably lose my stuff. So it's, uh, anyway, I like that dynamic of it. So it should be, should be pretty cool. I got a really nice warm welcome. They were very kind. A lot of people were like, oh, dude, it's good to have you here. And I was like, oh, thanks guys. I appreciate that. So shameless plug over on Kevin Sparkles too, but I assume that a lot of you enjoy videos and that's why you're here so there's just like more of them on other places also like some of the videos over on the other channels like they get so many views now that it's more than the videos on this channel that I'm like I should shameless plug on those channels more like why don't I do why don't I shout out this channel on those channels it's such a like why haven't I done that more I, I'm realizing that it shouldn't just be here dude I gotta get the shameless self promo going in those videos over there being like, hey, did you guys know I have a main channel? You could watch the videos there too that that are also good, I'd like to think. If you like if you like me here, you might also like me on Captain Sparkles. Not just Captain Sparkles 2 or Jordan Games. Jordan Reacts too is like, it's sometimes the videos get more views on there than they do on this channel and I never mention anything. God, I need to be better at my plugging. Maybe evenly distributed out more instead of just focusing it so hard on this channel. You know how we do? Yep, okay. Uh, anyway, just thinking about loud, out loud about like, my strategies and stuff like that. But, you know, stay tuned for more shameless self-promos. So I can shameless self-promo the act of shameless self-promoing and all that stuff. How many layers deep can we get it? Dude, I don't even know. But yeah, we'll, we'll find out. I just need to be smarter about my, my strategies. So hey, basically what I'm trying to say is like, Aside from this, six other channels, watch all the videos on there, and we'll be all covered. You might enjoy some of them and stuff like that, so it's it's pretty cool. Anyway, overall, uh, yeah, just, just happy to be here, happy that people are interested, and um, I hopefully can keep doing the Minecraft stuff. I will admit there, for a little while, I was, I was nervous about the future of Minecraft. And while for me, it's definitely still not as big as it was like several years ago, the peak, I think my peak, if you look at like my search term on Google Trends, my peak is pretty similar to where Minecraft's peak was like 2013. So I peaked as a child and it's all downhill from there. If Google Trends is of any indication, a representation of my life's achievements. Thank you, Google, for putting that in concrete form. I concrete. Concrete? I feel like I pronounced that wrong. Uh, form. Anyway. But anyway, maybe uh, maybe we'll see a bit of a, an uptick and um, who knows? Who knows? I'm more optimistic now, at least, than I was, say, like, a year ago or I guess two years ago when I really 
dove into the Reddit stuff here on this channel. Um, so I think, but I think like breaking it off into the Jordan Reacts channel and like bringing it back to Minecraft here, that was, uh, I think it was a good call. I think it was a good way to go about it. So I think it satisfies everyone, the people who wanted the Minecraft back, but also the people who wanted the reaction style stuff, like kind of works, it worked out. It was a good solution that I think kept most people pleased, including YouTube's algorithms and how YouTube wants things to work. So, you know, you gotta try to, it's a puzzle trying to please all of the both human and machine elements going on here. Anyway, though, this is just me saying hi. High quality, high budget content with me here. Static webcam frame. So thanks for sticking around. Hopefully you can tolerate just how good this stuff is. You weren't just blown out of your seat. So checking you're still there. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll leave it there. Stay tuned for the vids. And um, thanks for watching. Have a good start of summer. I'll probably see you tomorrow, but also more videos went up to down on other channels. So like I'll see you in a few minutes, maybe. See ya.